You know my first guest tonight from the West Wing and Parks and Recreation. He's now the director and star of The Bad Seed. Nobody would put a kid in the electric chair. Sure they do. Do you know what happens in the electric chair? It cooks you. Your skin crackles and shrivels like when we make bacon in the morning. I don't believe you. Kid wouldn't even fit in that big chair. They have a special one for kids. Stephen painted pink and they put PP pads underneath it for when you <laughs> yourself. God, you're disgusting. Google it. I can't wait to find out which one of those was the bad one. <laughs> Please welcome Rob Lowe. <laughs> You're a national treasure. Can I milk that again? Hey! Hi, hi, hi. Sorry. So you grew up on a dairy farm. Yes, Midwestern boy with simple dreams. Listen, let's let's talk about something really important All right. because what you, got? You, you know what you I'm got? a fan. I've said this before. You're always gonna be Sam Seaborn to me. Thank you. Ama Thank among you. many other parts. Thank among you. many other parts. Thank you. But you just said, will New Will and Grace, New Sopranos, New The Office. I wish I had been something that would make a good reboot. Maybe something timely that would have relevance in this divided political climate. Hashtag, oh well. <laughs> what does this mean? I don't know. Don't. I just. Don't start something you can't finish. Don't I, tease me, Rob Lowe. I, 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 I just was thinking, I was watching all the reboots come out. And look, I love Murphy Brown as much as the next person. Sure. But, and who doesn't? But I'm like, I want, you know, I, I think it's, a t it's time to get the old gang. Do you think the West Wing would come back? I, th I think it's time to get the old gang back together. Have you guys talked about it at all? Right? Um, I, I, know, I know all of the, all of the, the staff would, would love, we, we, and we don't write anonymous editorials on the West Wing. <laughs> we just throw the bums out. Um, mm. but, uh, I, but it's all about Aaron Sorkin. You know, he's, he's the guy who wrote it. He's the guy who created it. It's, 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 he is the West Wing, and... We gotta have him figure it out. Have you talked about him? Just have he, has he said anything at all? He's very closed-lipped. He says he'd like to do it as soon as he figures out a way to do it. Start typing. That's what I say. <laughs> that's, Here's that's how, how you, you start. Do it you like type this, yeah, and it happens. Hit the keys, and it happens. Buddy. America um, demands it. Speaking of popular entertainment, yeah. Okay. There, there's a. Uh, we haven't had a chance to talk about this yet, but while we were on break, was they announced this? That there's going to be a new Oscar category for popular movies yeah. now. Yeah, I, I, I'm not so much of a fan of that. I heard that. I mean, what do you have against things that are popular? <laughs> do you not like well, the Fast you, and if, Furious if, franchise, or? Well, Stephen, if you've seen the ratings of some of my projects, you know I have a lot against things that are popular. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I, no, I like things that are popular, but I, 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 it used to be that the best picture was also a popular picture um, for years and years and years, and I think that a, a new category kind of makes the best picture category seem less best. So, because the, the best picture category will be best serious picture. Yeah, oh, yes. Or best picture you didn't see. Well, for sure. <laughs> right. Yes. Yeah. It, or I like the new one will be best movie that my dad has heard of. As a father, I don't mind that. <laughs> You, you have some history. You have a lo you have long history with the Oscars, dating back to uh, what, what your... Uh, the, well, can, before we even do this, the, the best picture, the best, the best, this new best popular picture is the worst idea they've ever had since they asked me to sing with Snow White at the opening of the Oscars. For those of you who have forgotten, in 1989... Come on, you, who would want to see that? Uh, Come on! Yeah! Come on! Back then, it was a simpler time. This was our national crisis back then. Th that was. This was a huge story. It was a huge... It lasted for days. For days and days and days. And, and to this day, you, you just know when Oscar season rolls around, you're going to see that at the at most embarrassing. David Niven's streaker. Sure. Me Snow White. Sure. Soy Bomb. And I love it. The, two years ago, they couldn't even how to figure out how to announce the best picture correctly, and I'm the problem? <laughs> How did this happen? How really? Did this... Yes, really. 
They came to me, see, first of all, I'm a Midwestern people pleaser. So okay. if you ask me nicely, I'm likely to say yes. What actual place in the Midwest are you from? Dayton, Ohio. Okay, yeah. So the, they, the, the Academy came to me and said, would you perform in our opening number? And I'm a Midwestern people pleaser. I'm like, well, the Academy's asking, I will do it. Turns out it was not a good idea. Um, <laughs> they had me singing um, Proud Mary. So with, with... You... Tina Turner, it's yeah, yeah. it's a coin toss, really. Yeah, because who needs Ike Turner when you can have Rob Lowe, of course, and who needs Tina when you have Snow White, right? So I mean, it makes sense. Not makes sense. So. Yeah. And of course, the lyrics weren't good enough in the original. They rewrote Proud Mary. Well, of I course. Forgot. I forgot that part. Of course they did. Rollin', rollin', keep the cameras rollin'. Hey, man, I'm just a guy who does what they tell me to do. When did you know that perhaps there was maybe a problem? So, you know how, like, if you get in front of people and there's a, lot, a sea of faces, and let's face it, the Oscars, not only a sea of everybody in the industry, it's a billion people watching at home, over a billion. And everyone in the industry is there. And I look out, and on that night, I'm focused on one face, and that is Barry Levinson, the great director who, at that moment in time, is the biggest director in show business. Sure. Rain Man. He wins five Academy Awards that night. There's no one I'd rather more impress. And I look out and I see Barry Levinson, and, and he is, he is, this is, he's literally going. <laughs> That's when I knew. Uh huh. That's when you got a hint. That was That's a hint. That's when I knew. And, and I, and, but you know, we all have denial as a performer. It helps us because we get rejected all the time in what we do. Of course, yeah. So you have to have a healthy sense of denial. And in spite of Barry Levinson going, <laughs> I figure, hey, I kind of killed it. <laughs> I, I kind of. So you've got that kind of confidence. I kind of killed it. And you're like, ah, eh, it's just Barry Levinson. Hey, what does he know? <laughs> he, you know, he's just Barry Levinson. He only, he only won at, five Oscars tonight. At what point did you think maybe your assessment was wrong? So I, I come back to the green room, and, and, and it's, it's empty because it's early in the show. It's the opening. But there's an old lady, red-haired lady, sitting in the corner. And I walk in, and she says, young man, I had no idea you were such a good singer. Come sit with me. And it was Lucille Ball. <laughs> oh, wow. And I sat with Lucy, and she held my hand. Yes. And she wouldn't let go of it, and we watched the Oscars together. And so, while it was not a career highlight, Lucy loved it, and I love Lucy, so it's good by me. Wow. So, on balance, it was a positive experience. Yes. So, you, you did kill it. Right? You did kill it. Yeah. All right, you're, you're, you're directing now, you're directing uh, the, bad the, the Bad Seed. The well, Bad Seed. The Bad Seed. Remake, uh, remake of, of the, the 1958. The, the original Bad Seed brought the Bad Seed phrase into our lexicon and uh, created the evil kid genre. And uh, I'm really proud of this movie. It's really fun. It's really creepy, as you saw, and sort of sneaky funny. Right. Uh, it's a uh, Sunday at Lifetime, on Lifetime. And, and have you all, you've been a fan of, like, uh, uh, creepiness and, and horror for a long time, I understand. I, ha I have. And I've, I've, I've been, you know, I've been, you know, I used to direct, you know, things with, you know, my, I grew up with the, the Sheens and the Pens and all those, Robert Downey Jr. and Malibu and those sure, people. Sure, didn't? Yeah, sure. And, and you know, we, we made our little backyard movies together. You made movies with those guys? We, we did. And, I, you know, I, I recently uncovered one of the movies we made in Martin Sheen's backyard. Uh, and President Bartlett's backyard. Pres it's in President Bartlett's backyard, man. Right. Yeah. I mean, you're a West Wing fan. This is big, big stuff. And do we, is this the clip we, that we, we have? We have a clip. So I'll, what can you, how can you do to set up this clip? So here's the clip. Um, I was obsessed with Leonard Nimoy's In Search Of, right? In Search Of, sure. right? Loch Ness Monster. In search of. So this is our backyard version of Leonard Nimoy's In Search Of. And how old are you guys? Uh, I'd say we're 16, and I'm directing, and I'm also the cameraman. All right, and our star is? Uh, Char Charlie Sheen is the star, and Chad Lowe as the Beast. Okay, Jim. Good evening. Lance Barkin here. I'll be your host for the next hour, replacing Leonard Nima, who is on vacation. We're here in Chatsworth, Connecticut, investigating a mystery that has boggled mankind for centuries now. As we go back and investigate, well, actually, to what the Mayans once called Le Pelu. Which was 
I'm sorry. Which was... I'm sorry. I, I can't take it either. Uh, <laughs> which was a, a creature that has haunted mankind for centuries. <laughs> Do I think about the beast? Well, uh, we pay good money to come here try to get a tan. And uh, as you can see, it's frightened my wife right out of a short. She left in, in, in a horror. All right. We're going to find out who the beast is once we're uh, out here. Uh, oh! Oh! I don't believe it! It's the miner! You must have wanted the gold. You must have wanted to scare everybody away for the gold. Yeah. Oh, crap. Well, I'd have gotten away with it if it hadn't been for you. You damn cameraman! You and, and that damn meddling dog! <laughs> I mean... I mean, you haven't changed at all. You know, that is, the, that is the work of an early Steven Spielberg, I can tell you that. Well, Rob, good to see you again. Thank you. It was fun, as always. The Bad Seed airs this Sunday on Lifetime. <laughs>